We know being in good health requires more work than just working out. As one local artist is discovering, it's also about tapping into your creativity. And that concept is being explored at the Rochester Arts Center. Artist Ann Leibovitz is exploring the art of medicine in her new exhibition. It's called The Nexus of Well-Being and Art. And we're very excited to have Ann back in the CCO studio today. Your personality is as warm as our weather we're experiencing right now. Thank you. So let's talk about this newest project. What inspired you to explore the ties here between health and art? It's kind of a lifelong um, unit of inquiry, if you will, really, thinking about how art and health interconnect and intertwine and, and can, can um, color and light and atmosphere really promote a pathway towards well-being. Mm -hmm. like, you mm -hmm. actually tried to answer that. I mean, there's like a research component. Some yeah. people think of you as an artist, but there's so much work that goes into it before you ever you know, start to put something together. And there was a research component to this. And you mm -hmm. actually spoke with doctors and, and tried to learn what is that connection. Exactly. What and did that look like? Well, I interviewed nine healthcare professionals and, and to learn about how they incorporate art and creativity in their own practice as well as their lives. For example, one of them was a, neuro, a, a nutritionist, and she talked about when a, um, one of her patients had the craving for eating to substitute with a creative act. So there's, hmm. and that kind of also connects to the stickers exactly. Mm -hmm. That um, out of those interviews and all the additional research, ten words emerged: sort of rest, um, compassion, resilience, and those words are embedded in the paintings within the exhibition, as well as on stickers for all visitors to take with them. Mm -hmm. I have some of the stickers with me right here. You mentioned rest. I see hope, uh, purpose. Is there a connection to the color that was chosen for each word? Is that we're trying to embody the symbolism behind it? How did you come about that? It's a great question. I mean, it was difficult because 10 words, right? And so I took parts, um, passages of the Will to Meaning, which is the main piece that's 40 feet in the three-story atrium, and kind of paired um, each word with something that sort of felt like it resonated together. Mm -hmm. uh, what else did you learn about the connection between, like, I mean, I would assume colors help our mood. For sure, and, they can. And maybe our health. I mean, yeah. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist. Did you did you drill down on that and figure out? Well, I, I, I think yes on the, on the color and also scale. Um, what I learned um, was that um, when we experience awe and wonder, something kind of magical happens. We think a little less about ourselves and a little more about others. And what we know through research is when we think less about ourselves and more about others, we're happier. So there and this and so that's part of kind of trying to provide those moments of wonder and experience in the exhibition. Let's take a look at one of those pieces. Oh yeah. Do you need help? Yeah, this, like like this was a lot bigger at first than what I imagined. <laughs> you came with so. props today, <laughs> some visual aids. What are we arts. looking at here? I see the word resilience, one of the, the words mm -hmm. that we, we were discussing. So what is the message here? Well, this is actually a piece of what of this huge three-story work, and because we had a cut, you know, to make it fit exactly, and so resilience is one of those words that is used in peace building and is so important. I think in in ter like connects to grit and to being able to move through difficult times, the difficult moments where we kind of need those difficult moments to really show us the pathway to recognize when we're having lighter you know, easier moments. Mm -hmm. Talk about the medium here for oh, people yeah. who maybe didn't see it the first time you were on sure. the show, because um, it's it's so beautiful. Thank you. This is Tyvek, which is a construction material. You pretty much see it on all kinds of buildings, and it's very lightweight, and it, it can crimp, but it also can be quite um, undulating and beautiful. And so I love it because it's light, and it can suspend from the ceiling at a mm. monumental scale without, you know, putting too much stress on the ceiling. It's really beautiful. I asked you earlier because we, we had you featured on not long ago to talk about one exhibit. So I thought maybe you worked on the water exhibit and then you jumped right into this one. But how does how is your workflow when you have <laughs> multiple projects going at once and it's not just like one painting either? No, we're talking big monumental work. So my workflow is just pretty extreme. I'm kind of my base time is 12 hours a day, um, seven days a week. And then I go mostly it's into the 16 range. And so um, I work as much as I can in a space and then I actually have two studios so then when it's full I move myself to the other one. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Because I you need a to, lot of space. Yeah, you have to remember the self-care, too, it sounds like. Uh, that's um, a good message, yes. yes. <laughs> Talk about how visitors can uh, come and visit and actually participate as well mm -hmm. in this exhibit. So there's a wall, a wall called the Wellbeing Wall, and mm -hmm. that's intended to invite visitors to write or draw their response to what does well-being mean to you. So it's really excellent for viewers age 0 to 120. It's designed to be accessible for anyone. There's tax very low, so a person can put them very low or very, very high on the wall. Yeah, and we have some here of... of people that contributed to the exhibit and they wrote down what they think of when they think of the mm -hmm. connections between art art and health. It's really cool. And anyone can go, tickets? Or? Anyone can go and then we have, um, anyone can go um, and there are tickets at the door, I believe, so yes. Mm -hmm. Great. Wonderful. Well, you can check out the Nexus of Wellbeing and Art at the Rochester Art Museum. This is through July and we have a link to more information at WCCO.com. Thank you so much for coming back. Thanks for having me. On the me. floor, yes. All right.